Call this the little one Skeeter. Little Skeeter. <laughs> oh shit! Skeeter, you're squished! <laughs> Alright, so we got some shit going on. And I love when we got some shit going on. So I'm gonna pull this guy out because he just shed. So we can see his beautiful new skin. He's nice and yellow, hella yellow. He's like getting brighter and brighter as he grows. All right, so I finally named this guy. This is Ouija. We're gonna get this guy shit out. And his cage is already clean, so that's good to go. All right, so we got a full shed. Oop. It was a full shed. Sweet. All right, so he shed. male I have now because I sold Dash so now I have just a pair of Taiwan beauties and I still have not set the female up in this cage under here because she's in the rack so yeah I'll just leave her in the rack for now since I got so much space Crebo. So we got one snake actually, pretty damn excited about, and I'm not gonna pull it out. But actually, I'll just talk about it right here since I don't really want to move the cage or anything like that. So we got a sweet little snake in here, right? I'll just open it. I've had it for a day, so I brought it home yesterday, set it up in a in a cage, cleaned it a couple times, and yeah, I just fed it today. So I want to be careful because I don't want him to regurge. put a frozen thaw little fuzzy. I didn't want to film it, because I just wanted it to get done. But I just took a little fuzzy, right? Put it in some hot water, let it sit for a minute, and then put it in there and it ate it, no problem. Went right after it. Jesus, wrong one. She's taking a chick before. There we go, no problem. Oh, you went in nasty in your water bowl. What's up, little nasty lizard? With a couple pinkies. Alright, Mexican beauty lizard. I love the nails on them, they're hella long. I'm gonna press it up against the cage. That look crazy. What did I name this one? Opie? Opie Taylor? I should just leave a bunch of these in there for you. I gotta clean your water. Let me get back to you. So this rattlesnake. Alright, so I got my sidewinder up there. My bow is in shed. What's her name? Leatherface? Looking like Leatherface right now with her white eyes. Crazy, 
Get, 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 get. It's <laughs> okay. Right, so I picked up the Sidewinder. I got this cool ass rock. And this rock is from where you find white speckled rattlesnakes, pretty much. Because this is like a white speckled rattlesnake. So I'm gonna set, reset up my white speckled rattlesnake cage with this one, and then probably put the Sidewinder eventually in this, on the wood one. That's a pretty sweet rock. Did you see this? Did I show you this one? I wish I had something exciting for you guys, honestly. It was really just the same shit cleaning up poop and um, feeding the stuff that I have. And there's a couple of new things, but All right, I just cleaned Charles Manson about 30 minutes ago. Now I'm gonna clean him again. The old Charles Manson. He looked like he's about to go in the shed. So I just keep switching them back and forth in these tubs right now. I had them in the boa file cage for a little while. Four by two cage. But he just goes to the bathroom so much that I'm cleaning it so much, so I might as well just keep doing it in a smaller bin. All right, so we'll just get rid of this and then we can feed him. Big old fat boy. Yeah, he is going in the shed. female Taiwan beauty. So she is slowly outgrowing the male and then we're gonna set her up in a nice big cage so they'll be on display because I like having them in the cages so that way you can see them. She's not as bright and colorful as the male though so hopefully she brightens up as she gets older but her and Dash definitely look the same. And I don't remember if that male was that dull. I know he's getting brighter, but I don't remember if he was that dull. I don't know. So we can change that. Probably need to just change his, uh, change his bin. Get some new sub shit in there. Try and hit some of this stuff. I don't order, so I don't skip it. This one's Metroid. I just cleaned everybody today too. Like a couple hours, an hour before filming. Like I've been cleaning. And when you move them, they decide to shit again. In a fresh new cage. Yellow Wolf, we're gonna get him another mouse. My tiger rat snake is in here and she won't eat a couple plus one. Like a little trail. 
Did you hear it rattling? This one, this one's pearl, right? And pearls and shit, actually. Alright, so that's pearl, unicolor Crevo. Eyes all blue. Eating that mouse, no problem. Uno mas mouse. Snake is about to shed, so we're gonna skip that. But oh, we got Fiend Mochi. You guys don't need to see that. Who wants to see a ball python eat? <laughs> Missed. Oh shit. Come on, Billy. There you go. Billy Idol. Right, so we got Billy Idol right here. And we got Billy Jean over here. Billy Jean is my other Texas in the go. So she's the female. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. There you go. So I just have her in this cage for right now. Uh, it was open and I had to clean her tub. And she just looked pretty cool in there, so I decided to leave her in there until I need to take her out. We go to the bathroom a lot, so it's definitely not the most ideal for me to have a full little cage set up for the dry mark on. That's why most of the dry mark on, pretty much all of the dry mark on, are in rack systems and then everything else that are in caging because everything else is a little more manageable and the dry mark on just spray everywhere. A lot, all the time, so it's Easier just to hose the bin out. Looking at the reflection. This way. Alright, so we'll give her two for right now. Alright, so we got that instant hot water, right? So I just put a little bit of water on this little fuzzy just to warm it up. So it's the same thing I did with the uh, Sidewinder. I'm just doing it with this one just so he sees the temperature rather than smell the mouse. See? No problem. It's Cruella. White speckle rattlesnake. I bought her as a female, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have some plans for her one day. One day. Couple for Ozzy. So I just set up Ozzy's cage again today, cleaned it out, reset it up. I like how it's set up right now, the branches are a little bit higher. She still doesn't eat off tongs. She doesn't eat off tongs for me. For how feisty of snakes they are, you would think they would be a little bit better eaters. Not saying they're bad eaters, but I wouldn't consider them a uh, crazy eater compared to the Dremarkon or things that'll eat anything. Taiwan beauties. Stupid fucking cage. All right. Damn, false water cobra. Uh, so, probably, yeah, you can't even see back. Oh, Jesus. Can't see back there. But that's the hypo false water cobra, so we'll just get that one done.
They're gonna get one more each. Dogs are on one tonight. Tap Tap, what you doing in here? How'd you get in here? Who let you in here? Yes. I love Pearl. So she is uh, super modeled. I wish I had. Oh, look, the red tail green that snake eating one. So that's one down. Hopefully, he will or she will eat another. I fed her earlier this week, so she ate twice this week. And I fed a couple of, like, all the babies I fed just a hopper during the week, just so they had an extra little meal. Usually I'll feed like chicken hearts or chicken gizzards or something extra, some fish if I have that extra. When I'm feeding the dragons or the tegu, I'll come in here and I'll have extra for the uh, some of the smaller snakes just to keep them eating a little bit more. So I really want to show you guys the new stuff, right? But we got to get it, get it dialed in first. And then, uh, yeah, I guess just for now, we'll call it Sidewinder's Eating. And it's eating mice, which is fucking dope, okay? That was not according to plan, but hot water, okay? So if you have a snake that's maybe picky, and it's not taking live, it's not taking frozen thawed, maybe take your frozen thawed mouse, put it in some hot water, and that'll just warm that mouse up. And you'll have snakes eating them, just like that. Look at the tiny little garter snake. So that's one of the three that's in there. That's the little problem child. The other two are a lot bigger. All right, so I'm gonna just cut this up to tiny little pieces and let the garter snakes just do their thing. When they get a little bit bigger, they'll be a little bit better eaters, but they're so damn small that they just, everything spooks them, even feeding them. There they are. See how much bigger the other two are? And then there's that tiny little fella. There you go. There's one. There you go. There you go. Look at that. There's two. Alright, little tiny one. Make it happen. Make it happen, little one. Little fella. Call this little one Skeeter. Little Skeeter. <laughs> oh, shit. Skeeter, you're squished. <laughs> Run for dear life. Oh, there goes Skeeter. Well, that was worth it. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna let the garter snakes eat once they realize that it's in this fucking bowl. If I can keep feeding it, great. Bigger pieces, trying to get them down. Damn, they're eating off tongs so good right now. The hell? If only a little skeeter would eat. Yeah, this one's bigger. I don't remember, I think the female came in bigger. I don't know why, but when I unboxed them, they were separate and they were labeled, and then I got so excited I unboxed them. I was like, oh, let me just put them in the same cage, and I really didn't look at which one is which. <laughs> so now I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure the females get larger than the males. So I'm just assuming that this big one is the female. All right, we gotta finish up the false water cobra cleaning. We gotta, I think we're good. You guys are good? I'm gonna bored you enough now. I guess we can close it here. I'm Schmo, thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow my Instagram. Get out of here now. <laughs>